Good evening, everyone. How are we all? Anyone coming to join me? Let's see who's here this evening. I've just had a nice cup of coffee brought to me. I don't feel like I've had anywhere near my quota of coffee this uh, today. I can see a few people jumping on. Lovely to have you here. Have we got some? Oh, let's just turn that down. I don't want to hear myself. Good evening, Jeanette. How are you? Are you well today? Hello, Leanne. Oh, it's good to have you all here. I'm just, uh, couldn't decide hair up, hair down. Good evening, Sarah. I said I'd got my coffee. Look in my mug. I didn't even request that. Graham's just bought this to me and he bought it in a mug. <laughs> and hi, Jeanette. And it really has got coffee in here. Look, can you see the froth? It's reducing down actually at the moment, but it's a proper coffee, so it's yummy. So hi, Julie. Yeah, I don't feel like I've had my quota of coffee at all today. I don't feel like I've been sort of firing on all four cylinders, so they say, but um, I am really good. Thank you, Jeanette. I've been at the opticians today, trying to choose um, some new glasses and I might be getting somewhere. I might be getting somewhere. We've got some, um, good evening, Linda. I've got some that are being ordered in in a different colour, a different colourway. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. We might be finally getting somewhere, but the old ones have gone. So good evening, Simon. We haven't had a Christmas countdown for a rather long time. Um, evening, Kate. Oh, it's so lovely to have so many of you here. Um, okay, well, what have I got for you this evening? Well, yoo-hoo, Audrey. Uh, what have I got for you this evening? I saw a post by um, one of my friends and uh, downline in the team. And um, long tough links. Oh, I don't think I know where. I don't think I've been there or anywhere near there. I'll have to look it up. Um, good evening, Vivian. Um, I I saw a post by her that was all about like Starbucks coffee and it just had me thinking coffee. I love my coffee. Um, and I put a card, where is it? I put a card out there um, um, ooh, a week or two ago, um, which I thought I would perhaps return to and show you how I made it, where you do a reverse image. Good evening from Somerset, Anne. Um, and I, and then I thought I'd just have a bit of a play. And so I was, um, I was pulling out a few bits and bobs and some unusual colours. Um, so good morning, Marge. And mum's here. Good evening. Um, so in fact, you'll probably like this one, mum, because, um, yeah, I'm going to do a reverse image. I've got certainly two cards in mind. A third card I may do if we have time. Um, good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Jan. Um, and that will be where we do a bit of masking. So um, that might come in handy as well. Just, oh, just north of Peterborough, south of Bourne. Oh, okay, Leslie. I'm not familiar with that area particularly well. Pe sort of just up to Peterborough, but I don't really know very much more beyond there. But um, was that lovely Mo I saw on there? Good evening, Mo. Bless your heart. Um, and Mary Cat. Oh, so many lovely joiners. Well, I hope we're in the coffee shop. <laughs> And we're going to, um, I, but we had a discussion over dinner um, because I decided I was going to use a candy cane this evening. And Graham said to me, who in their right mind puts a candy cane in like hot chocolate or a coffee or something? <laughs> so we just had this discussion. He's like, oh, I can't think of anything worse. Too sweet, too this, too that. Who does it? It's just for decoration. So that's hence why I put out the, the little... Do you, I don't actually know whether I've ever had a candy cane before now. So anyway, um, I'm going to turn you around and, um, ah, Rebecca, it was your post earlier about the Starbucks coffee that had me thinking of tonight's, um, project. So, um, just home from your class and looking forward to watching. Oh, lovely. Bless your heart. Thank you. Well, hopefully pop your feet up and I hope you will enjoy, um, 
Jeanette says she has. I have to agree, too sweet. Yeah, that's what hubby was saying. He, he does not have a sweet tooth in the slightest. So this was... Um, cellophane is isn't it just i have tried that before now and yeah it's not the easiest this was a card that i made um a ooh, couple of so weeks back now and uh, i thought i would show you how i made this because of the where's the stamp set the stamp set is called press on and the way the cup comes is only right handed handled handed the handle is on the right hand side so I thought I would show you how I managed to get it on the left and I thought can you see here the I don't know if you can it's all stuck down there but the froth that I've created there I thought I would show you how I created the froth and then I'll take you on from this card into another one where we will kind of step things up a little bit in um, some other fun bits that we'll do to make it more festive um, and then as I say we'll just it, play it by ear that could be plenty for this evening um, so you've got this set Joanna um, I love it but I haven't used it enough and I've only used certain images from it but I'm going to show you a few things with this this evening she says rolling up her sleeves so okay let me get started so firstly I have pulled out of my little tub next to me I found that I'd got one of these I think this is the largest um, scallop one you know from my uh, stitch so sweetly but I've got um, quite a few bits in my little tub next to me that really do need using up so I thought I would make use of that and I thought we need, I'd got this already, I must have prepped this up for something and then never used it. So I thought we would use that, I'm trying to be a mildly frugal here. Um, oh, I hope to bring you some inspiration. Um, and the coffee cup and the carrier, I haven't bought the carriers. Um, one of your favourite sets, every Christmas Starbucks do we get. See, uh, it's at this, I've never tried an eggnog never tried an eggnog but I have I do love um at this time of year when they start putting the pumpkin spice um cupcakes in I love that now this is basic grey this is where I'm gonna go a little kind of strange in colours here so I've cut that to sit just oops just inside this stitching here but I'm gonna um sponge this up a little bit so what I'm going to do I wanted it to look a little bit kind of uh is it French navy that's that kind of um you'll see I can't quite describe it now I think of military uniforms when I think of it so here I've got pretty peacock and just a sponge um, in fact, I want my white first. So, whisper white, first of all. Mine's a little bit gunky. Eggnog is horrible. I don't think I've ever, ever had gingerbread latte. You actually had one today. Mm, they're obviously out there already. Okay, so let's just dab that off. So, just white, white craft ink here. I can see a few. That's RAF blue. Yes. And I, I kind of wanted that sort of look for a colour. So, eggnog is yum. I might have to have one with you one day so that if I don't like it, you could finish it because I wouldn't want the, um, the waste. See, I'm a girl that's very much, so this is the... Um, pretty peacock I'm a girl that's very much uh, don't mess with my coffee just leave it as coffee I don't want flavors in it or anything like that um, I do normally have I do like my espressos what was that can't mess with a mocha <laughs> oh well let's hope this comes out the way I hope for it to um, it's possibly mildly a bit too 
pretty peacock in the middle, but I'm going to do a second card where I'm doing this, so it might come out better on the next one if I don't just hook my fringe behind my ears. My hair's got really long, actually. Right, so that's my pretty peacock. And now I'm going to pull in Knight of Navy. So I'm deepening the edge up again with Knight of Navy. And I just felt that background of the grey kind of... Um, the say almost gave that sort of yeah RAF colour. Um, I do. That's why I don't like it. Well, I'll have to see what that comment was about. But yeah, I'm very much don't mess with my coffee. Just just coffee. I can't sometimes like the sound of it, but then when it comes to it, nah. So, really changed that up a bit. So that. You were just going to comment, my hair is, is really getting long now. I, today I did actually think to myself, am I going to need to get this cut again sooner rather than perhaps I normally would? Because it really is getting quite long. Do you know, I looked over to my right here earlier and I thought, this is empty. What's normally in here? I cannot believe I am totally out of linen thread. I can't believe that. Um, caramel latte, say, I would find that quite sweet. Um, but I can see the appeal. Right, I'm going to pull in a scrap of white. I'm just looking for, see if I've got a... Isn't it typical when you, oh, here we go. When you want a small piece that's a thicker white, you then can't find it quickly enough. Right, so let's get this mug. I'm going to use this mug here. And see those bits in the middle? Don't throw them away, because those bits you can make use of for stamping different things, of which I want to have a play with at some point. So watch this space uh, some of my blocks desperately need a bit of a clean okay I know I'm out of linen thread I'm almost shocked myself that is really quite unheard of um, okay black ink black memento and I want to Stamp one that side. Now I have pulled in, I've got lots of little, let me show you, I've got lots of little scraps here this evening to use up. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of piecing. You might not be able to see that. Oh, can you see that on there? It's probably a bit difficult, but. Um, Oh dear, so I guess, did you have any forewarning so that you were able to get any appointment in beforehand or I think that's, uh, yeah, when people then going to go crazy, aren't they? Suddenly they're going to go mad getting all their appointments as quickly as possible. Right, so that is like my little, my little band that will go in there in a minute. But I now want to show you how to do the one for the other side with the handle round the opposite way. So I am pulling in here. This is my silicone um, craft mat sheet, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to find a nice sort of smooth corner. Just two days. Ooh, that's not really long enough, is it, to get yourself um, prepped up and ready? Oh, I feel for you. I won't be surprised if we don't all go the same way, if I'm totally honest, but let's hope we're all out of this soon. So I'm re-inking up again with the black memento and on my craft sheet, I'm now going to stamp that image, turn it over and press it out. And there we go. It's not quite as dark. Now, if I did that on the Stamparatus, I could make that much darker. But I don't mind that little bit in the middle because 
Good evening, Louise. How are you this evening? Are you good? I'm going to give that a little clean. And I'm going to do the same on this piece. These are from... Oh, I could use stripes, actually. No, I'm going to use that because I, I quite like that. So I'm now going to stamp the same backwards. Um... Where do you get the, um, do you know, do we, I hope we still sell it. Um, I'm sure we always used to have it in the back of our catalogue. I believe we still do. So there's that. It is so simple. You can stamp onto um, little pieces of plain rubber, um, but you... Uh, you can stamp onto a few different things actually but that's how I like to do it it's just quick and simple it's often to hand um, oh I think I am missing a few messages there so I might have to either scroll back or catch those later one or the other I was busy watching what I was doing we do I've just ordered I thought we did I would be surprised if I missed that one going um, I know I've got a few and I actually had lost mine this evening I was looking for it so there we go I've now got so I can now create two mugs kind of like if if you do such a thing as clinking your mugs together to almost like cheers each other I don't know it's, I suppose it could be a an Irish coffee in there in fact if we're going to put some froth on the top it really oh it's been years since I had one of those I used to have those in Africa, they always used to make a really... I know, it sounds bizarre. In Africa, they used to make some really good ones. So, there's that. I'll show you a tip for the handle in a minute. Um, yeah, I used to have... Now, that was when I used to have, like, Irish coffee, but I'd have a, um, a Kahlua coffee I used to enjoy. That was nice. Only as a treat, once every blue moon. But otherwise, yes, don't mess with my coffee. I do like my coffee. She says, with it still sat next to her. Cut round that hand. Ooh. And then I'll show you how I did in the handle. So, there's that. Then, if you happen to have a, a small hole punch, um, what stamp set am I using? I am using what is called Press On. It's all kind of coffee cups and coffee um, thank yous and things like that. But I'm going to do two different... Um, I haven't had Kahlua in years, Mo. Um, really haven't. What was that about there? Uh, if you use the sheet from the Stamper Mid Jig, then you could use it on the Stamparatus. Yes, definitely, Mary. I have seen it done on the Stamparatus, and therefore you can go back. If you really want a darker image... I would strongly recommend the Stamparatus. So that's taken out the majority. And then if you need to take out a tiny bit more with the tip of your scissors, you can just nibble out that last little bit. Yes, on the Stamparatus, you really can get a much, much deeper. Because um, that's sort of, I grant you, slightly faded. But actually, for the purpose of what I'm wanting, it's not too bad. My Sweetly Dies, yes. I haven't actually, I didn't intend to use them at all tonight because I thought I'm becoming too predictable. However, um, if you've clocked, Louise, I have a, a tub next to me that I'll show you. It's become a little crazy at the minute. I'm literally going to have to lift you up now because look how mad that is of different shapes and, and what have you that I need to basically make use of. So I need to um, be creative with that lot. And I happened to see this one poking out and I just thought, right, let's get using. So that's how I did the handles. So now my, my punch uh, is a stamping up one. Um, it isn't current. But if you can find, if you've got an alternative um, or you can find another shape in another punch that might do it for you, then, um, okay, Facebook is playing up. 
yeah, you could use that. I'm hoping you can still see and hear me. My laptop has gone black screen, so I have no idea right now if if you are still oh no i think you are good good oh that's fine good so there you go that's using up a few little scraps and um showing you how to think go backwards it is the heartwarming papers absolutely lovely and I had lots of little scraps left over so that was why I felt like I would just pull um, perfect for using your little strips up um, that's why I thought I would bring that oh good still okay good as I say my screen in front of me on my laptop went completely black and it just said uh, something about sorry can't show this right now so good 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 right a quick slurp of my coffee um, okay so the froth, ha ha ha, who would have thought it, waterfront. See this one here? That makes the best froth. Look at that. So you will stamp that onto, well, I'm gonna show you. This is, I looked at it earlier and it needs a really good clean. It's clearly become quite dusty. Um, and it's um, losing its stickiness. I saw that, Joanna. That card was fantastic. And what was funny is it was using paper that I'm not madly a lover of. But the way you used it, I thought it was incredible. Really lovely. Um, so where are my... I've got some vellum here. Regular vellum. Bringing in some Versamark. Or you could use your um, white craft ink that I'm using already. I could use that, but I'll, I will just use this because it's just as easy. Now, I don't need all of this, so I'm just going to stamp two of the top onto some scrap. And then with some white embossing powder... make my froth. <laughs> that sounds like make my day. How do I clean photopolymer stamps? Are you talking about when they get really, really, really stained or just regular cleaning? Um, because my regular cleaning, I would use... My regular cleaning, I would use either, this is an old bottle that I have had keep going, my Stampin' Mist on my um, scrub mat, or I've got just my chamois. Um, but if you're talking about when they get really stained, I think in our last catalogue, we don't have it any longer, this was really good and helped to... Um, take away a lot of the depth of colour that was in there but we stopped selling this I seem to recall in this catalogue which was a little unfortunate took me a long while to actually open mine I thought I was oh when dusty forgive me Jan when dusty I'm so sorry I take them into the house and I fill my sink up with hot soapy water and I quite simply clean it with hot soapy water um and then sit them on the drainer. You just make sure that you uh, put something down so that it doesn't um, go down the plug hole. Um, but that's what I do. Uh, there we go. So now I'm just creating my froth. Yes, sorry, forgive me, cleaning the dust off. Yeah, and then once you've washed them, you see, they just become, they come back to life a little bit then. Um and less, less uh, dusty. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. They need some sprinkles on the top or something now. Um, 
I do love it when, you know, I grant you here, I've used two different stamp sets here. Believe me, this isn't the last you're going to see tonight. You're going to see a few more. Um, but um, I love it when we can pull little pieces from other stamp sets and pull them in to making good use of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, if you were, do you see this where it's a little bit, I've taken away some of the black from within. If you're careful, you can just do, can you see that? You can just do that. Retired cupcake, yes, for the spring cause. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Um, you can just re-add that kind of little bit of an edge if you sort of have snipped it out um you're itching to play with the set now i know it's fun isn't it it's just a fun set so so here we go let's let's have a look at getting this down now i'm feeling like this needs a little bit it depends whether this is going to be mildly christmasy or not i'm toying here with adding, as we did the other week, a little splattering of Wink Stella just to make that a bit sparkly, mildly sparkly. Um, so there's that. In fact, let's, 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 let's. Just because. And make a bit, tap that Wink. Perfect, that's enough. Okay, then that will go on there, but I don't know if I'm going to lift it yet. Depends how I do. So what I want to do with these is if I use glue dots and do, oop, do that. Then I can choose how much froth I want to have visible. And then you might need to just trim off down the edge. But that was once, well, I don't know if that's deemed a sea or a mountain or... <laughs> I love it. Oh, little things, please, little minds. <laughs> Do you make sure there is some squeezed into the knee? Uh, yes and no. I didn't there, but I always store mine upside down. So it's always running into the nib. So there's likely to be some in there. But if you start by flicking, then if you find there's not enough, then I would make sure that I had a little bit of a squeeze to, to get some more in there. What I don't want is to go put in loads in the nib and find there was already plenty in there. And then I get great big lumps. Um, so I tend to kind of see how it goes to start with. Uh, right, if I hook that back that way a little bit, they might not look quite the same then. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're just fun, aren't they? Look at that. Um, so that was that one. And now I'm just adding a slight variation here. Um, so I have no... Oh dear, what am I going to do? I've got no linen thread. Now I wonder. That's not quite right. And then I've got to think about the sentiment for this one. Now I've got... Oh, I think that one froze on me a little bit. I've got that one. I could put a little bit of red maybe. I've got a little bit of gold, but I'm not sure that I think gold is quite... Oh, I have bought this one out, but that's black. Hmm, what else could I... Or, oh, hang on, hang on a minute. Let's maybe try... We'll try this one. What's this one called? This is our braided linen trim, which is actually the same as the red one, but it's um, just your natural linen. This Facebook's real playing up, isn't it, these days? All right, let's just add a bit of a 
That might be a bit big in this. No. So, give that a trim off. Oops. And then, Do you think you might not notice if it was black? I suppose the black and the white of the of the cup is still. Let's have a little try, because I do think that's perhaps a bit heavy. Let's just try, and then I might add some sequins to this one. That is definitely a better size for sure. You tell me how you think that looks whilst I just get some sequins. And then we'll see. Uh, ooh, or maybe those. Ooh, now they might be nice. Mm -hmm. or possibly, maybe these on there. Let's have a... Right, let's think about this. Sentiment. Sentiment. Now, on this one, I put this in, which is quite fun. Um, hope your day is full of perks. Oh, lack of white looks... Lack of white looks better. Or do you mean black and white? That's nice. Liking the black and white. Yeah, I think this one... As nice as it is colour-wise, I think it's um, perhaps a bit heavy. Um, yeah, I was thinking... Oh, they're not in there. I was thinking possibly... Uh, ooh. Let's have a look at these self-adhesive snowflakes. Those ones that are... They come as a two-pack, the pinky and the... They might be quite nice because they'll pick up that background colour. And if not, this was the other pack I was looking for, which should have been in there. This could be the trick. So let's run with that. Then are we making this into a thank you card? With black and white, yes. I thought that might have been what you were saying. There's that. Silver twine or thread to pick up the sequins. Yeah, I don't think I've got any of that. I think I've got rid of all of my silvers and what have you. I'm liking the way this is going, though. This is cool. So, hope your day is full of perks. A cup of thanks. Uh, I might do a cup of thanks, actually. So, let's, maybe that might go down there perhaps and in fact if I do that in black that will pull in the black um, that will pull it in quite nicely so where is my black iridescent you're thinking let's find a is that going to fit on there not quite oops plenty of Plenty of scraps in here to use up. Um, and then you can post it on Kylie's blog cop. Who, me? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> right, let's... Oh, yeah, I know what you're saying now. Um, right, okay, let's... A cup of thanks. That's now stuck to there. Let's do that. Versamark, and then that. some white embossing powder. You know me, love my embossing. A card wouldn't be a card for me without a bit of embossing for me, or a day wouldn't be the same without a bit of embossing. Right. 
that's a nice script. I like that. It's funny, I think when you start playing, more ideas were coming to me this evening and it's like I could have gone on and probably done about six different cards actually with ideas. If only I'd had more time to have a play because uh, I could very easily. Right, I'm going to see what it looks like. Trim that down and then I might just banner this end. I don't often do a banner these days, so let's do a little banner. Coffee cups are cute. They are, Kirsty. Welcome. They are. We like these. So maybe I do, although that's really covering the cup. I'm going to have to bring it up a bit, I think. We'll take that down. Or maybe put it over. That's what I do. That is what I do. Do it like that. Yeah. We like that. And then maybe... I say these ones because then they won't really stand out. I can just put just a couple. I think that's where we go with this. So let's get committing to sticking. Okie dokie. Oh dear, jumping out my hand. Let's stick that one down. Make sure that's opening the right way, yes. Oh, I've done that before. You end up thinking, hmm... Who can I send this to in Australia? Fussy cut around it. I did wonder about that. What do we reckon? Fussy cut around the sentiment or banner the sentiment? How did you do the blue background? Louise, I'm going to show you on the next card because I'm doing another card where that will um, show you how I've done that. Um... Maybe, i tell you what, we will do. Let's quickly do both. And then you can, oh, has that just flipped over? Yes, it did. Let's see. Some are saying fussy cut, some are saying banner. Let's have a little look see what we can come up with. Oh. Banner. I tell you what, I might use this one on the next card possibly. Although the next one is gonna be a bit more Christmassy. Let me just have some more of my coffee. So let's just give, give it a look and see. Whiz around that. A few more banners coming in. Here we go, nearly done. Cut around the cup. <laughs> got a nice full day tomorrow down here working on a couple of things so I'm looking forward to that right okay let's just see 
or I might use that in the next card. Now I quite like that as well. What do we reckon now? Snip, snip away. We certainly do. Let's put some of these on. I'm not going to get rid of that banner yet. We're just going to see where we go. We've still got some love for the banners. Oops. Like the fussy cut one. It's funny, isn't it? We've they're too lined up. Oh, they're going to have to stay there now. You like it with the thingy? i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to commit. Some are saying steel banner. i tell you what I might do is I might just leave the sentiments for this card until... I do the next card because the next card you might say actually that would look better on this one and then we can perhaps do one on one and one on the other. Either way that is going to be lifted on dimensionals. So we'll put that, that will go there. And then I would put that up on dimensionals across there. Or I would put a banner across underneath there. Either one I think looks, looks good actually. I think they both work. I guess that's just a... A preference really isn't it let's move on and then we can come back to that when I do the sentiment on the next one um, which I have got I'm gonna have some fun I'm liking what I've thought of for this one um, thank you Melissa bless your heart thank you so I'm gonna leave that with that and we will add um, we'll add We'll add the sentiment in a minute when I'm absolutely or when we are absolutely certain. Um, so not dissimilar to what I did there, but perhaps a little bit more festive. Um, good. Well, I'm pleased you like. Uh, we are all being fussy. <laughs> you like the layout of this card, Mo. Thank you. Thank you. Just a, a different kind of focal point off to the side. Um, something a bit. A bit different. Um, the second son is 40 today. Ah, oh, lots of lovely celebrations then, Paula. Enjoy, enjoy. They are celebrations most certainly to, uh, to not uh, ignore. You need to definitely be enjoying that. Right, so what have I got for you now? Okay, so this was another card that I thought of to do with the... Um, What's this colour? Grey, basic grey, basic grey background. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm bringing in my white um, ink again, my white craft ink, and just dabbing, I'm just dabbing a little bit off over to the side of my my card so that I don't, don't worry about these little lines because there's going to be stuff going in the middle here that will cover... A lot of this. This is, you've seen me do this before, this is to help, like it did on that other card, is to kind of help draw your eye into the middle a little bit. Um, so I'm going to need that again. So now what I might do here, I might bring in a roller to just try and get this on a little quicker for you. You could use a sponge and I was going to and did kind of do a bit of a practice with that. And that's what I used on the other card. But on this one, because it's that little bit bigger and I've got a bit more to get through, 
I will first of all put a little bit of this down and then go over it. I say I don't know whether this colour was coming out for you. Ignore the straight lines. I will soften that in a moment. Um, you've not used your white craft ink in years. I think we go through phases though, don't we? You you kind of yeah, you do. I think you do. You go through phases of what we use, what becomes, um, I guess, uh, popular. Um, or kind of like the season's flair of what we're doing. I don't think that's um, uncommon at all. Right, there's that. Now I'm going to go in with little circular motions to soften up any of those lines that I might have... Say, hopefully, you're seeing this colour come because it is quite a sort of a yeah RAF navy sort of colour in a way. I think that grey behind it. What was that? I might need to. teach the sponge prayer yeah that I I do like a spot of sponging because I just think if we've got inks on our shelves why not use them um what was that that's in the catalogue uh what stamps that are you using lots of at the moment oh gosh um oh well I am definitely using, trim, well, no, trimming the town. I'm using the papers a lot. Um, ooh, ooh, that's a really good question. I would have to go and look on my shelves to see. Um, I might have to come back to you on that one. Um, didn't realise you inked it yourself. Uh, yeah, Alison, I've done something like that with a cleaner before now. I waited and waited and waited for the little bit to arrive and then realised that actually it was already inked up. <laughs> right, Knight of Navy. Going in to darken this edge even more. Tag Buffet. I would say Tag Buffet, Louise. I think that I'm liking the Christmas sentiments on that. I'm liking the fact um, the images that are on it as well. I would say I've used that quite a lot just recently. I, in fact, I nearly pulled it out for something this evening and I thought, no, 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 you've used that quite a bit. And then it was then when I saw uh, the lovely Rebecca post something about the Starbucks coffee that made me think, ha ha, coffee. Um, yeah, I know, Alison, you did. That was hilarious. Utterly hilarious. I can't believe I kept hold of it for ages thinking, oh, yeah, they'll send the little refill for it soon. Huh? <laughs> that was quite funny. So, there we go. Really darkened that up now. I'm liking that. Yeah, Tag Buffet is uh, definitely a good one that I've been using a lot, I would say. So I don't know if you can really see the difference there. Let me see if I can show you slightly better. That is Navy, Knight of Navy, and that's what we've just created. So it is almost like a moon. It is a little bit like a moon. Um, so it is, and there's your your grey and here I was using I was die cutting a snowflake earlier that is your um pretty peacock so just to give you an idea of the difference in colours and that might help you see this sort of grey sort of colour in there um and then yeah maybe you'll you'll see where I'm coming from but hopefully right so now then, I want to have this white ink back in. Um, 
the items from it do they ret they do retire them an awful lot of them very occasionally something might carry over but we wouldn't know that until the time so if ever there is anything in there that you really couldn't live without i would strongly suggest you get it so just adding in i would have preferred to have stamped that off but it's a bit late now but never mind we're going to cover some of this over oh stuck to me there is that now i can close this this is uber juicy um and i keep getting very white inky fingers uh, when I'm closing that one so there's that now let's think about these mugs on this one just put that out of the way so I need some more, more scrap have I got a smaller scrap than this let's see what have I got that might do okay so I need another mug so I'm going to pull in and then you're going to be broken happy. Absolutely. Um, you like that, Mo? Good. I am so pleased you do. So I'm going to do a mug there. And again, I'm going to bring in, I love this little check, gingham. I do. I'm rather partial to a spot of gingham me. I loved those. Do you remember the gingham papers? And they were all in those beautiful colours, those. Let's just snip that. I'm only snipping it now because I can still see it. Otherwise, I'll pop it down and then uh, I will probably lose it. Uh, there we go. That's going to go in there, except that looks a little bit drunk. I might just have to stamp that again because I know that will bother me. Let's just see if I... No, even that's a bit drunk. Oh, that one's better though, slightly better. I'll, I'll settle for that one because I can straighten that up. I can straighten that up there. Whereas the other one did look quite a bit drunk. Yeah, that's a little straighter, just a little bit. Okay, there is my mug. And then I'm going to do, so we're doing a little bit of piecing now. Um, or in a moment, I'm just finished cutting this. I'll do the handle in a minute just so that I've got that prepped up. So there's that, I say, I'll do that handle like I did before in a moment. And then I'm going to crumb cake. Uh, you know the takeout mugs. This one, I'm gonna do a takeout mug. Cup, mug. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So let's pull this in, move that one and these really need cleaning. So a little bit of piecing now. So I want to have, I love a bit of crumb cake. I would say it's a staple. It's a real staple. So that's ready for a takeout mug. Now takeout mugs have white lids. So I need a white lid. And then it wants uh, a fancy belly band again. So we're piecing this together and just having a spot of fun. Let's just put the lid on there before I go getting myself all inky. So we'll snip that out. You're thinking, I haven't seen a candy cane yet. Where's her candy cane she was going on about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well now, if 
classy cut around this. Uh, now I might actually do away with part of this lid. Because if I want to put froth, you're not going to want that top of that lid. Um, oh, you're very sweet, Louise. Thank you. I think it's a mad mind sometimes. I've got vivid imagination. Right, so there's that. And then take out mug. So I'm going to stick that white piece. Bless you. You're also sweet to me. Thank you. I'm going to do keep some of that so that I've got somewhere to stick that white piece to. And now, oops, let's do the tiniest bit of glue in there. Hey, look at that, suddenly it comes alive. <laughs> do you know, it really made me laugh. When we went to New York once, we went into a Starbucks, I think it was, and um, Graham asked for a coffee and he said his name was Graham. And they can never seem to hear his name. He always ends up, so we ended up the good old, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Your coffee name. Um, and so, yeah, we ended up, I said, next time you go in and order, you've got to say your name's Chad. So Chad became his coffee name. Um, but yeah, I never say Michaela because I they can never spell it. They can never um, pronounce it um, wherever I am in the world. And so I always say Nikki, because I, uh, where's that punch gone? I find that's easier for people to, to hear when I say it. But it does make me laugh. You're gonna clear your sewing stuff out and put it all away and set my card station up. And put my mind to create any tip. Pull out one step, one stamp set, then just get yourself some, if you've got grid paper, get grid paper or a great, as big a piece of paper as you can get, like a big A3 sheet and just stamp. Stamp and play and look at shapes and all of that. Um, so I'm going to do that. We need some more froth because we're going hot chocolates and lattes or possibly an eggnog maybe 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 so where's that we want this one back in and some more versamark and just the tip of this again we can do two of those at the same time oh there it is Reminds you of a clock. This, yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I would suggest, Louise. That's what I do when I'm needing re um, restrict yourself to what you're playing with or certain colours or something like that. And then um, take out cups cue. I thought that I liked that one especially piecing it together. Let's add some more foam. Yeah. It doesn't matter that I've got bits in the middle there because I'm cutting this out, which is why I didn't worry so much about using the embossing body because I'm going to sit and cut these out so it, it didn't really matter. That? Let's cut this side first. So zoom around this 
<laughs> but then you see, um, you're friends with staff at a local Starbucks. They message me when it is in, and I always go on the first day, the last day. They run out before Christmas. Ah, is that the drink that Granny used to drink at Christmas with cherry on it? It was yellow. I always think of it as being yellow, Audrey, but I have no idea. Actually, I sound. I oh, <laughs> look at that for froth. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Right, where are my glue dots? Um, that's a snowball. I used to have. We used to have snowball as a oh, as a kid. Well, not as a kid, but my younger years. There's that. It's like a real mountain on there. Look at that! How fun! Made with avocado. Oh gosh! There's that, and we'll do the other one because I think that also needs a little bit of frothing. But we will make it little less so. It's funny, isn't it? The drinks and things that you you think of, seasonal drinks that you have. You know, I think of in the summer months, it's, uh, you know, a nice cool lemonade or, or pims in the UK is quite popular. Um, and then, uh, yeah, your, your wintery drinks. Winter pims, actually. Well, I'm not such a lover of that i find that quite sweet um there we go add a bit of that in there <laughs> right then we are going to that hasn't by any means yum yum jeanette pims and if you like a pims we need to share one of those one day for sure um now I feel, right, I feel this needs also a bit of Winker Stella because the other one had it. Now I am going to get a little bit more into the nib because it just is slowly started. This is giving a real gentle... Oh, lovely. Gentle sheen. My laugh is so wicked. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Lovely sheen there. Um, so we're going to do that and that. Nowhere near enough on there because now I'm thinking Christmas. So this was where the discussion of candy canes came in. So candy canes. I have got the stamp set that is called Sweetest Time. Now, you can get candy canes in lots of other sets. You might have one on your shelves from, from another occasion. Um, and there is my beautifully stained candy cane, which I am going to... Is that going to fit on there? Perfect. Uh, we'll bring in real red. Mold wine, yes, baby sham. Oh my goodness, I haven't had a baby sham in years. Baby sham. That was that advert, wasn't it? Baby sham. Yeah, in the lovely little shallow, little shallow um, glasses, wasn't it? Old fashioned style, sort of champagne glasses. So we will cut candy cane out as I say this was when I was thinking about putting a candy cane in this evening's project and pulling it off the shelves also when Graham said do people actually really eat candy canes um you're liking this card good Audrey I am so pleased I'm not sure I would make a massive batch of these you could but they uh They probably would take a little while, but I do like a fun card sometimes that you can really throw yourself into. So I'm thinking somewhere in the back here, maybe, or even throw it in there, maybe, or even in the... Ha! 
Where do you reckon? In the middle, to the side. And I'll leave that there so you can look through the camera and see it. Then it had me thinking, what else do I like to have kind of, and it's like hot chocolates, hot chocolate and, and chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies. But I've got a stamp set with a chocolate chip cookie on. So this is why I say I'm bringing out every stamp set there is. So nothing's better than Christmas with a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> so we've got to have a cookie in here. Now, obviously, I am throwing everything at this. You really don't need to. You could have, we could have just left this at the cops, but that wouldn't be me, would it? So I have now pulled out some soft suede. Um, in the green cup, you're thinking more in the oop, more in the green cup to the, or in the middle. Maybe it needs to be. I'll let you have a little look and think about that. Um, because I still haven't finished. Um, I think this has gone cold now. Yeah. Uh, okay, so cookies, crumbs. So this, the cup may change in a minute because we may well, <laughs> love it. We may well, I'm going to add something else in a minute. Because this, this is by no means Christmassy enough yet. By no means. I'm having so much fun here. I just think, yeah. We need a tree, we need for the Christmas, presents, singing carols, choir. <laughs> nice little uh, manger, maybe a little donkey in the corner. <laughs> How much could I throw at one card? That would be fun. That would be a fun evening. Maybe I should do that as a Facebook Live nearer to Christmas. Let's see how many things we can get on a... What do we think? <laughs> uh -uh, isn't a finish. Right, so I have some snowflakes. A snowman, yes, snowman soup, of course. So I'm thinking three, maybe one large, two small. Uh, maybe fairy lights, yeah. You reckon swap the cups around? Let's have a look. Let's see. I'm liking this. I'm just liking the mounting snowman. Sprinkles. We need sprinkles. One, two. Maybe three. Looking at that through the camera. I often find looking at it through the camera, I can see whether there's balance there or not. Hmm, I'm just going to switch that back and just see if I, because I'm just thinking of where the sentiment's going to go. Moon die cuts moving around. How do you think it all up? You're a genius. <laughs> You're funny, bless you. It is just literally, I, I say it's just literally, it sounds, um, it's, I just think about literally as I have just done there with you, you know, what do I think of when I think of Christmas? What do I think of when I think of certain times? And I wish that went that way for that one. The only reason I'm putting them that side is you could do an A4 sheet and stamp all the bits and then cut them all out and do cards. Cookie inside, possibly. Although I do think it just needs a cookie. You've got to have a cookie. 
can't not have a cookie. So I am thinking of, I want a skinny little sentiment, a little bit like, a little bit like that. I'm thinking, I could reverse the candy cane. Oh, Julie, you're genius. I could, you are absolutely right. And considering I've just taught you how to do that, why am I not thinking of that? You are genius. Let's just see. I might actually reverse the candy cane. Yeah, see? Because that candy cane's wrong that way, isn't it? And that's why I'm sure Sarah was probably saying, put it on the other side. Let's just try that on the other side and see if that sentiment still works. If it's that way. Because I can see exactly why she suggested that. That's now not quite right in the middle there. That's too high. That maybe <laughs> gotta have the cookie. Yeah, that's Oh, I'm having fun here. I'm having too much fun here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, dear. Right, do we like that sentiment? I'm going to lift that up for you. The cards you make or listening to you make me smile. Because <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> do we like that sentiment? Or, yeah, it definitely looks better hanging out of the cup, doesn't it? Definitely. Um, do we like that sentiment? Or do we like... What was the one that I saw that I thought... It was in one of these stamp sets. This one. I did wonder about just something really bright and peaceful. Wishes to you this Christmas. Although in some ways that is just too... Oh, dear, sweetest season, but that's quite large. Although I could, 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 could. Let's do both of those and see. Depends whether you want it to be kind of full on or, um, as my dad would say, simple things, please, simple minds. Not that I'm saying you're simple. Oh, I am. I don't mind saying that. I do. I like simple things. And a bit of a giggle. I think just helps us uh, if you can't laugh at yourself that's what I think right let's have a little look I'm going to do a couple of sentiments here to come up with potentially two options oh I like this card then here's something that um it is um do you don't think something's boring <laughs> Ah, what colour card base is this going on? I did wonder about pulling in the neutrals in this so that it's because it's quite a busy card. I do love a busy card. Um, and I did wonder whether just keeping it neutral. Uh, let's just see. I was concerned that would look too central. So I might have to angle those so that it's still off to one side or bring that one down maybe is that a little bit better Sarah you just read out is too boring for such fun card this skinny one that's what I was fearful of actually I like the fact that it's skinny but it is a little bit bland you're right for this card um, so then I was thinking of sweetest season and fussy cutting that says that I can put sweetest and then season underneath it, perhaps. Um, I don't want it to be too big a sentiment because I think there's so much going on. It needs to be a small one, a little bit like that's in there. Um, <laughs> but I don't, and I feel like it, it needs to be Christmas because it's screaming Christmas. Do you realise none of that is stuck down at the minute? So we've got to go back over all of that in a minute. <laughs> 
dear. Right, let's have a little. Let's have a little stamp of this. Do, do, do. I'm going to take these blocks in the house tonight. What sentiments are in the warm hugs? I think a lot of those are round. I will check because you're right, there could... Oh, I was just about to heat emboss that without even putting any powder on it. Um, there could be something in there, but I've got a funny feeling they're all like round and not in a long, you know, in a line. Um... go yeah, it needs to be I'm hoping that you're all looking through your catalogues and you're going you need such and such a sentiment from such and such a catalogue and then if I've got it I can go to my shelves and get it and we can give it a try and you're loving the grouping together style just cluster cluster it all up Warm hugs and cookie kisses. Ooh, does that exist? Is that really a sentiment, Jeanette? Which stamp set's that from? Where is that? Is that in the warm? Is that in them? Um... Yeah, see, these are all quite, they're all mainly round. You're the marshmallows to my cocoa? But yeah, I like the warm hugs and you see, that would be good. Cookie kisses. Where are you seeing that? That's not in this one, is it? No. Or are you just making that up? <laughs> You're making me go looking for something that doesn't even exist. <laughs> Wild goose chase. Right, let's try... Let's try a few things here. Let's try trimming this down first as a straight line. See if it works. If it doesn't, then we will try fussy cutting the whole of it. That needs to now be a little closer. Too close. Cool, this is real fine work. See, I think that's too bold to just. That's too heavy, isn't it? Or is it? You tell me. Oh, I am liking this card. This is going quite well. Or it's cutting round it and piecing them. Yeah, I think it's too chunky. I'm so pleased you said that, Julie, because I think it is too. It it dom domina dominates dominates the the uh, whole card. So we will now to do a bit of fussy cutting and that's why I suggested that perhaps with the last card it might be that I do the fussy cutting around the sentiment on this one and the banner on the other one to show you the two varieties. I know I could do the same on both of them but sometimes it's nice to to do. But do we like the sentiment? Do we think this is sweetest season? I think kind of goes, yeah, fussy cut. Then we just got to decide if it's in one line or we'll split over to. Thank you, Heather. Thank you very much. Enjoying this. Throwing everything at it, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I do like a spot of fun. 
Oh, I can just hear the rain starting outside, pitter pattering on the on the roof. Two lines you're thinking, fussy cut, fussy cut, the wishing and place it somewhere on the top. What fussy cut the whole wishing you line, let's see. There we go. And half inside, there's an idea. That's much kinder to it, isn't it? It doesn't dominate it quite as much. It's it's kind of, it's almost still big, but it's lesser so. I think that's a lot better. Or it is splitting it and having almost like sweetest and then season down there and having it split into two. What do you reckon? It is seasonal. I know, isn't that a difference? Amazing really, isn't it? How just the, the, all we've done is taken away the bulk of the card and um, why can it not go along the, well, it could. It could, but I kind of almost feel that if I'm going focally in the middle, that's where the cluster is. It's almost that's where I want my sentiment to be. I feel like down there I've taken, I, my eye has got to look in two places now. That's the only reason why I kind of think to lift it and put it in amongst that cluster. The whole focal is to the centre of that card, which really pulls you in. As one one line, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that actually. I feel like it. I feel like that's right actually. As one, might take it over a tiny bit, but and I'm not even sure that that needs any twine or anything actually. Which I know I'm beginning to feel like I might be not feeling well if that's the case. <laughs> but um, I might start committing to this now. As I'm really rather liking this. It's fun. It's, uh, yeah, I like. So I'm going to have to lift some of these bits and... And then I'll have to put, do the whole card base in a minute. In the cluster. Yeah, that's what I think. And I do, I truly think actually, Jeanette, I feel it's like, how can I be saying this? But I do think it doesn't need the twine. I think it's, um... you do realise you've got to move it all again. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, actually, the easier way to do that would be to add that to the back of there. That would be the easiest option for that. Um, commit, commit. I turned away to share chocolate with my dad and his car has blown me away. Oh, bless you. Bless you. You're so sweet. I'll take a photo of how I laid it. Yeah, I sometimes do that. I sometimes do exactly that, Julie. And sometimes, um, which is why actually when I'm doing a Facebook Live, Sometimes I'll, I'll put it down because I can then look through the camera and see what you're seeing. Sometimes to see it that way can be better than looking at the card itself. It's almost like you're looking at it, let's say, up on your mantelpiece. You're looking at it more from a distance in a way. All right, that's that one. Then let's commit to this one. go and that <laughs> oh dear that that I'll add that down there that's definitely going to go there but I might put that on dimensionals and do uh, we'll add that yeah okay so that can now go down flat it's 
So yeah, I've kind of thrown, um, I make you chuckle. <laughs> oh, bless you. I've, I have kind of thrown everything at this, but hopefully you will agree. I think generally speaking, most of us have, um, perhaps, uh, a snowflake within our stash from one year to another, we might well do, um, I could snip off the cup handle, actually. I could snip it off and stick it on the other side. What do we reckon? Do we think it needs? Handle, does the handle bother you? Do you think? That? Then I think we'll add That to the bottom of there. Oops. And then that can go across. There. Just as she was committing. <laughs> Yeah, don't do this to me. And I don't like that there. It needs to move over a little bit. Yeah, I might just leave that handle on there just because otherwise I'm going to... Just as she was committing. I love it. She's committing. Let her stick to it. Yep. Yeah. That's time for just joining in and wow. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Bless you. Thank you. We've had a we've had a giggle. We haven't had any left right marching though, but we have had a giggle. Right, let's do that. And that Straighten that out and then I can anchor that on there because it's raised and on the cookie because that's also raised, which will help. So I want a little bit there and I will want a little bit there. Just make sure I get that straight now. You like? Can't wait to watch the preview play and see how you came up with this beauty. Oh, thank you. So, do we reckon on crumb cake? I pulled out, I'll show you this, some of the options. I showed Graham this earlier and I said, what did he think? Uh, so, I pulled, I pulled out navy, but I didn't think, it's nice and dark. I didn't think it quite right. I could do another red, perhaps. That's quite nice on real red. So that then both the cards are on real red. I don't think navy's right, although it's nice and dark and moody, but um, I don't feel that's quite right. Crumb cake, I felt picked out the the neutrals in there, which is why I went for that. Or... There was, let's see if I've got one, or there was, or you could always pull in some of the, yeah, not navy, real red. You could go grey. What do we reckon? It's either that, that or red. Yeah, navy doesn't look right, does it, Joanna? I thought that. Crumb cake, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Kind of tones it down a bit. Grey's a little bland. Red, 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 Julie's saying. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I love it. Tell her to go red. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
That is nice, actually. I might have to make two of these. <laughs> Crumb cake or red? It is definitely, it's between these two, isn't it? Grey is indeed too bland. It looks nice, but only nice. As Hubby would say to me, because I say it to him, nice isn't, uh, no, what is it I say? It's fine. He says, fine's not good enough. And I say, yeah, you're absolutely right. Fine's not good enough. Old Olive. What, and pick out the green. Hmm. I have to see it. I still think it's one of these two, but I want to see it now. Uh, and I know I've got an old Olive card base over on the side. Um, oh, good night, Vivian. Red, red, red. Ooh. <laughs> oh, do you know, I like all of those. Um, red layer, then the crumb cake. Yes, make two. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to whiz through it if I did. Um, oh, do you know, I wouldn't have thought about putting that on green. I quite like it on green. I like it on all of them. Maybe I'm going to have to make a set of three. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back to putting this sentiment on here. And then red, red, red. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. You're all making me laugh. Now, what was the ooh to, Kirsty? Is that to the green as well? See, I wouldn't have gone for green. I don't often. I need a set of three, don't I? I definitely need a set of three. I'm going to do that one on this one now because I'd like it to kind of almost be in keeping with that one. Um, I know I quite like the old olive as well. I'm going to have to make three. I'd have to zoom through three if I was going to make three. We'd be here all night. It's gone 10 o'clock already. You'll all be going, I'll have a nightcap drink. Oh, I meant to put some under there, didn't I? That wasn't very good. There we go. Glitter. What, we need some glitter on here. Oh, I can't make a decision. Do you know, I used to be indecisive and now I'm not so sure. All right, if this were a set, because I'm all for sets, it's either that and that, or tomorrow I'm just going to have to make. Green is more unusual, isn't it? it you wouldn't. I mean, that is beautiful. You don't have to be up in the <laughs> We're having a, a full-on craft-a-thon um, pyjama party. I do like that. Do you know I'm set duo, then green for this one. Yeah, I think I'm, I might have to go green on this occasion. I so rarely use... What have I just dropped? Oh, I can see it. I'll get that in a minute. I so rarely use old olive that that is actually let's all have a hot chocolate and make and make more cards <laughs> a red one and a green one maybe that's it it needs to be a set doesn't it i'm gonna have to make more of these aren't i but you're not going to want to see me make more of these now does this need any sequins on it or are we just leaving it as wink of stella because i feel that that could be I'll be, pho I'll be phoning Graham in a minute and going, uh, can you bring me down more coffee, please? I think I'm in for the night. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going green. I actually really like that. I'm going to have to look back and see who it was that suggested that again because I can't remember who it was. But well done, that girl. That is really, I yeah. <laughs> suddenly, suddenly we've changed from red, red, red to green, green, green. <laughs> Oh, night, Louise. See, we're in for a lock-in and it's getting late. <laughs> I really like that. I think I'm going to commit to that. Yes, I'm going to commit to that. Who would have thought it from basic grey cardstock? You were probably thinking earlier that uh, 
What is she going to do with basic grey? How can that possibly be jazzed up? And here we go. You couldn't actually throw much more at that card, really, could you? Um, just the wink. I tell you what, I will show you. If we were going to do these, I would use these ones because I think these are quite subtle. But I would only do a couple in little... I don't want them out here because I don't want it to look too purple, orange and blue. Green for the win. <laughs> I'm going to just gently, so that if I didn't like them, I can remove them. Add. Literally like. What do you reckon? Just so that it catches a tiny bit. Don't like that one there, though. It needs to be yeah but no more and not out too far I think that's plenty 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 well what are we saying it's now 10 past 10 I couldn't possibly but I will I really do think tomorrow um, because you you've really you've inspired me to now want to do like a set of three of these and do one on red one on green and one on crumb cake um, so I feel like I might well just do exactly that I've really enjoyed these I think they're fun um, and just yeah throwing that almost looks like a postage stamp that um, throwing absolutely everything at it I mean I've not used many stamp sets at all really I don't know what people are saying about me when they say she doesn't like to do a simple card <laughs> there's only four stamp sets that's not too many I mean it's predominantly that one <laughs> don't let anyone ever tell you I can't do simple stamping <laughs> I just choose to have a bit more fun and do more than simple stamping but we've had fun and we have done some simple stamping and I've shown you how to do the reverse stamping and um we could have reversed that candy cane and not done the cheats by just reversing the cups and maybe that's what I do on the other one maybe I do it the opposite or should they just be quite simply the same but I am going to love and leave you because otherwise poor hubby um is going to be thinking where is she is she coming in has she finished yet etc etc but i've had so much fun thank you so much for joining me and joining in the fun you are great company all of you girls um and boys i know there's a few oh i'm missing all these lovely messages far from simple four sets i only want one of them <laughs> do you know what when i scroll back i'm just trying now and i see who it was that said the green I think I should be sending you this card um, and I might well include, uh, didn't include the snowflake dies. Oh yeah, yeah, where's the snowflake dies? Snowflake dies and one, two, three, four, five ink colours. <laughs> five ink colours. Um, oh, only one twine, but do you know what? We only did one bow, so we, we could probably rule that out. Um, and quite a lot of card stock and colour. I don't like to use too many products. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, hang on. This this other one was die cut previously, but my stitch so sweetly. That was also in my in my set um, at the side here. So there there was that as well, wasn't there? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I've had fun. You, by the sounds of things, have had fun, hopefully, um, from what I can see. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Fab Cards. Thank you. Really, really enjoyed making those. Um, all from seeing uh, on a friend's Facebook page about Starbucks coffee. And I thought, coffee, I've got to do coffee tonight. So um, I like to tempt you. My wish list grows every week. <laughs> We're all going to die happy. 
And in fact, if that day comes, Graham can sell it all off and I'm going to have a great party, a great send off. So <laughs> it's a win win. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of the week and the weekend. And I will see you next week. Um, can't think where we are next week. But uh, no, we're not into November next week. Whew, a little bit longer for that. But um, good. I'm so pleased you had a good time, Audrey. As long as I've made you all smile, um, that's, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to love and leave you. You take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.